engineering physics lab experiment number 3 the spring constant the aim of the experiment is to determine the spring constant in series and parallel combination experimentally apparatus required the stand to perform the series and parallel combination experiment so we are using two springs so let me call the spring constant of first spring as uh, k1 and k2 for the second spring and the uh, weights are uh, to have some extensions so experiment we are using two springs let me call the uh, spring constant of first spring as k1 and the spring constant of second spring as k2 and to perform for series combination so keep the spring to the holder since it is series combination i need to connect the spring uh, to end to end connection and keep some dead load let me call it as dead load and measure whatever the extension it has pre produced using a scale in my case it is 22 uh, cm without any weights now i will add and 50 plus 50 total 100 grams of weight or to the series combination springs now measure the extension produced by it it is approximately 28 cm now add two more 50s now it is total 200 grams of weight now measure the extension it is 36 uh, cm in my case this is about uh, the series combination now parallel combination connected parallelly now uh, put some holder to fix the weights now include some uh, dead load now measure the extension produced by it approximately is 11.1 as cm now add 100 grams of weight 50 plus 50 now keep the reference point and measure it is 12 and 12.1 cm add 100 more now it is totally 200 grams of weight and measure the weight it is 13.2 cm in this case now we can go for the calculation now we have the tabular column so with the dead load whatever the extension is produced note the near call it as a with 100 grams of weight pointer reading call it as b and take the difference between a and b you will get the spring stretch express it in cm now f equal to mg r force measure it and express it in newton the spring constant i know f equal to minus kx k equal to f by x it is always a positive modulus f by x whatever the answer will get note down here for 100 also repeat the same thing and take the average and call it as a spring constant for series combination coming to the parallel combination uh, with the dead load call it as a and plus 100 note down here the extension plus 200 the extension and take the difference between a and uh, b uh, call it as x the spring stretch determine the force and spring constant for parallel and take the average of these two and call it as k parallel okay. now this is one of the tabular column which we have performed the calculation already results whatever the answer you will get for series and parallel 